Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully this is finding you well. Just putting in a couple more patches in the roof here and the, the, the liner on trip. Um, I got a new one from Shower Pouch the other day and I also got one from LA Patches. Super cool patches. One of them was uh, the Shower Pouch logo, which is really neat. But the other one was uh, a patch over here. It's uh, be the person your dog thinks you are. I really like that patch. It's really cool. So, but you didn't come here for this. You came for that catchy title. That's right. Last U.S. Bag Company. If you all remember, those that have been following me for a while, remember that at the Northwest Overland Rally last year in Plain, Washington, 2019, I did a bunch of videos on the trip that I did there. Uh, a lot of vendors that were there and some of the training and the experiences that you can get when you go to the Northwest Overland Rally. Well, one of those companies I met was the last U.S. bag company. They're down in Vancouver, Washington. Now, Will and his guys were phenomenal. Gracious hosts, very knowledgeable, very funny guys to spend the weekend with going around. But I'll have to leave a link up above, or maybe at the end of this video, you'll see the credits. As the credits roll, don't click off right away. There'll be these little windows that pop up. Click on that one. It'll be Will's video that I did with him uh, showing all of you what Last U.S. Bag is all about. It was super cool, but I really liked both Will as a person, as a small business owner, and then also what he was doing in regards to his company and how he was actually trying to help the environment and give back. So that was super cool. So make sure you go check that out. But we gotta head to the back of trip because I got something new to show you and it's compliments of Will from Last U.S. Bag. So let's get going. Okay gang, what we got here is Oscar's mobile hideout. That's right. Now, I told you, Will was a nice guy. He's got a sense of humor. This is Oscar's mobile hideout. <laughs> well, last year when I met Will, I got to asking him a little bit about what he was doing for future projects. And one of those inquiries I had was if he was going to be coming out with an idea, if he'd thought about something like this, a backpack for your vehicle, pickup truck and such. These normally people attach on their tailgate or on her spare tire if you have a Jeep or a Toyota uh, 4Runner and such. Uh, for us guys that got pickup trucks, we can throw them on our pickup truck if we don't have an exter external spare tire. Well, there are a few companies that have some of these bags like that, but many of them are just a bag. It just, it's got straps, you attach it on, you fill it up. It's great. Hey, no problem. I've never owned one before. I've only seen them used. But the one thing I, I thought about was one, was the material that was being used, and two, it was you know accessible or the options and things like that. A lot of people use these for putting their firewood in. Other people use them to put their trash in. Both are perfect ideas. But Will went ahead and came out with one more idea. Why use it just for firewood and why use it just for garbage? Use it for whatever you like. The designs that he has with this and the thought that he put into creating Oscar's Mobile Hideout, once you get this bag, you are going to realize he did a great job. One of the first things was the build quality. The material he used, this really heavy duty nylon coated, uh, rubberized coated nylon, that waterproof, is really, really stout. I'm really pleased with that. But it's all the other little attention to detail that I like. One of them is the clips. He's using all these really big, heavy-duty clips on the fronts and the backs and the sides. And the clip right here that keeps the lid shut, it's really, really well done. I mean, it's super tough, and it's called ITW Nexus. I was wondering if I was gonna get the name. It's right underneath the buckle. Really cool with that. Now the bag, it expands open off the bed of my pickup truck out. It expands eight inches. Yep, it's 22 by 24 inches. And uh, it's the outside mesh pocket that it's 13 inches wide and 21 inches high. And yes, I'll show you that in a second. But what's really cool about this, first and foremost, I said how it attaches to the truck. As you see here, it's just attached to the tailgate. It wraps around the back of the truck, cinches down, and there's a couple of these heavy duty buckles, clips in place, and keeps this perfectly in position. Close your tailgate, close your, if you have those uh, uh, tonneau covers and stuff like that, this won't interfere whatsoever. So let's get to more of the details. One of the details I want to touch on is this mesh pocket in front. We'll flip the lid open for a second to show you this. This mesh pocket is approximately 13 inches by 21 inches. But with this expandable top right here, this stretch top right here, really gives a lot of room. This is perfect for if you got a lot of wet gear, throw this inside there so it's not inside any other bag that you might not want that. 
also it's really nice just to store uh, incidentals that you don't really need to be worried about whether they get dusty or dirty it's kind of nice but it's an option what you use with it is up to you on this side and on the other side too both the left and the right side here we have expandable mesh pockets as well that are approximately seven inches by 13 inches again expandable top across here plenty of room to put things in works super well this i say would work really good for a ex fire extinguisher a lot of people store their fire extinguishers inside the back of their pickup truck or inside their vehicle sometimes they're not always in the most readily accessible location i'd say throw one on that and then you're good to go the next thing i want to touch on is every zipper on uh, oscar's um, mobile hideout are ykk but one further instead of just putting a little piece of paracord or something on there will gave you these nice little t-handles right here and that was a really neat idea. Again, it's the attention to detail I really like. But what's super cool is you can just zip these up and down one way or the other. And why I like this so much is if you're going to store this with firewood or anything else, you don't have to reach in and out do anything. All you have to do is grab these. Boom. Pops right open, drops right out, and it works perfectly. Now, getting into the interior of the bag, as you'll see here, there's a couple of really big holes right here these grommets that were put inside here are about five eighths of an inch in diameter half inch to five eighths and would work really good for not only making sure that this pat this bag here does not hold water but you can also wash it all out and it'll dry faster another detail will did really good with is adding three metal d-rings to each side of oscar's mobile hideout this allows you both to tie other items down, to lash them down, or else just clip things on with little carabiners. It's another perfect idea. It's the little stuff that makes this bag a little bit more useful for anybody's needs. Now you'll notice the bag can cinch down flat. When not in use, you can compress this bag quite flat and use these two tie downs on both sides. Both of these draw cords right here, draw this tight and get it snug up against the back of your vehicle so it's not in the way and bouncing around. Now we're going to get to the lid of the bag. Again, really well done. You can see how these corners have been pleated to tuck over to seal everything up nice and tight on the bag. When you do want to access it though, you can open it up, turn it inside out like this, and be able to get everything right here. He's got this really big heavy duty buckle that draws tight, this draw cord, draw it tight and cinch up the top really good to keep everything nice and tight, not flopping around. Another cool thing, again, it's the accessories, the attention to detail. Inside the lid, you're going to have a pocket here, a storage pocket. Again, another YKK zipper. And this pocket here is about 13 inches by 20 inches. So much space, so much room to put everything in. Again, maybe a first aid kit instead of throwing it in the back. If you got a smaller IFAC or a little boo-boo kit instead of a big one like I have, you could put a small uh, first aid kit this easily and just tell anybody, hey, if you need a first aid bag, it's in the lid of Oscar's mobile hideout. Now, a lot of us, when we go on a trail, we like to have a little campfire. We'd love to have a campfire, you know, at the end of the day, but you have to process the wood. Most people use an ax. Some people have those electric chainsaws, but a couple of people every now and then, you'll come across, they've got what's called a bow saw. A bow saw that's got a really tough tooth blade that goes straight across and it's got an arched handle, an arched body. That's a bow saw. Will went ahead and thought about that. In here, the front pocket, you have both this little plastic body that protects the bag from the bow saw. You can also use this as a cutting board if you had to. But what's really nice is this insert protects your bag. Just take your bow saw, drop it inside here, snap it shut, and you're good to go. And in case you have to help remove, help remove trees and debris from the roadway, or if you gotta help process firewood, you'll have your bow saw with you. And you can't forget the one item that every overlander needs, a bottle opener. So gang, whether you think you wanna use this for firewood, whether you think you wanna use it for road cleanup, trail cleanup, for your garbage, you can line this with a garbage bag. Um, you got your you got your bow saw storage pocket in here. You've got pockets in here for if the kids went swimming or if you got a little wet. There's so much you can do with this this bag. It's up to your imagination. I mean, this is a really good addition to anybody that wants to get out and overland. And what's really nice is you don't have to worry about whatever you're putting in here taking up space in the back of your vehicle. 
Now granted, some of us with more of a full-size rig, space isn't as much of a premium as folks with Jeeps, with Toyota pickup trucks, uh, with you know with the forerunners and stuff like that this is really cool but what i like about it is yes i could do it for firewood but it keeps it outside the vehicle keeps it secure and safe the, the straps are super durable really thick heavy duty webbing um i it's really well engineered i think it's a little over engineered but knowing that it's going to be on the trail for years uh maybe a decade maybe more this might be something that i could pass on to my son as he gets older and he goes off with his buddy um i mean i'm really pleased with it it's super cool so again will uh and everybody over at last us bag thank you very much for this i do appreciate it hopefully you guys like the content you like the information again everything will be down below links description um all the information will be down there um how you can order one for yourself and how you can reach out to last us bag for any of your questions I have no promo codes, I have no discounts or anything. If anything, if you reach out to them, just let them know that CK Knife and Tool did the video. You saw the video, like, hey, Chad was kind of a dork, but I really like your pack. <laughs> Either way, I'm gonna take my fancy new hat here. I'm gonna go back inside and finish my beer, and uh, you all have a good one. Remember, like, share, subscribe, all the good stuff. Keep me from the bottom of the YouTube bucket. We'll catch you later.